So Jocelyn, this is your first race since the Boston Marathon in April. And what happened there? I know it didn't go quite how you wanted it to go that race. Did anything go wrong in the race for you? No, uh, no for me, um, according to my preparation and my help from my coach, give me advice to not race more races so mm -hmm. that I can concentrate on London Marathon. Oh, okay. But in Boston, you were among the favorites to win and you sort of fell off the pack. Um, what, did anything go wrong in the race or what happened there? Yeah, for Boston was a great race for me. It, I get more uh, experience mm -hmm. because uh, in my training was good, well, but uh, I didn't uh, when I arrived at Boston, the, the the course was not favorable for me. Yeah, I reached a point I was not feeling my legs were my one leg was not good, so I feel let me remain uh, behind and finish. So I was not feeling hundred percent, but in my training was good, but only ups and the hills of <laughs> ups and down hills of Boston did mm -hmm. not uh, favor me well. Yeah. Yes. So do you prefer the London course? Then? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the best. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. I know you used to run a lot of half marathons. You used to have the world record. So why did you sort of decide to not run as many uh, races in between? Or yeah, it is according to uh, to according to uh, my coach and my coach has been my advisor mm -hmm. and counseling me how to uh, to race according to races. So um, he advised me not to race much so yeah. that I can concentrate on marathon, not to run much up because sometimes if you run more races, you feel maybe the body is not strong when you race. Uh, better to remain focused in training. And focus only on on the main, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who is your coach? Nicholas, who is my husband, mm -hmm. and Gabrielle. I have two coaches, assisting advisor. Yes. So Gabrielle, what's the last name for the assistant? Gabrielle and Nicholas. Nicholas, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so do you do you like that? Do you like being able to focus on just the marathon? Yeah, sure. Because uh, when when I focus like that, I stay like that. I run well because uh, sometimes, um, let's say last like last year, I ran well here because I concentrated on London. But in few weeks, I used to maybe to have one half marathon to test it about uh, how um, the speed. But this year. I see to go half marathon and London was closer. I say let me stay cool and wait for the main marathon. Mm -hmm. Yes. So do you consider yourself 100% a marathoner now and not as focused on other distances? Yeah, because uh, because when I debuted marathon, I ran well. So, but when the time of marathon is is maybe longer, so I decided to to go uh, maybe to one half marathon at the middle of the of the pre my preparation mm -hmm. but according to this year my preparation has uh, been foc focusing here in london only it depends about the season of the race if the season uh, the race is longer maybe i cut and go for a one half marathon but if it is near i stay focused for the marathon okay yes mm -hmm. When you watched Berlin, were you surprised by the women's time, 2.15? Yeah, it was a crisis experience to me that uh, it is possible for us women to run even that more time because uh, our role model now, uh, the marathoner, who has run, uh, she has run 2.14, Bridget Koske. Mm. She, she gives us a lot of morale that every uh, woman athlete, we are capable to run at that time so it was an amazing race and i was happy to watch yeah. yes so do you think 215 is that a time you think you could do on sunday yeah my what i i am aiming now my target is to to cross the finish line when i knowing that i have do my best that's it okay <laughs> yeah um oh i'm curious you mentioned you know you debuted and you've run a few marathons now what are the biggest things you've learned from the marathon that you didn't know when you first started out running the marathon yeah uh, um, 
marathon is uh, something uh, to be relaxed and to run your own race. That's it. Because like a marathon, it's something faster you can finish. <laughs> but marathon, it is something you, you go longer. It needs a lot of patience. And in a training, you need to be focused so that uh, I have learned that if more, I have learned much that it is like a book opening every page, every day a page. So it's not something <laughs> you need to 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 fast uh, to to stay. Uh, you need, I'm saying it, you need to stay focused to work every day with that uh, with learning. So for me now, I have learned much more about marathon. This ma uh, marathon you can stay focused and run well yes have you had any injuries in this build-up no i'm happy uh this time i have prepared well my training has been going on well and it, everything is perfect mm -hmm. yes. and do you have a halfway split like if you could choose what pace to hit halfway at what would you like to do on sunday yeah you know uh, i'm saying <laughs> What uh, my aim now, and according my, to my training, I am happy when I arrive at the finish line, feeling strong, <laughs> <laughs> and feeling that I have done my best. That's it. All right. So I don't uh, have a calculation to say I want to pass like this. You know, a race is a race. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Very good. I Thank appreciate you. the time. Good luck on Sunday. Thank you.